Sexual assault victims across Indiana are sharing their stories on these pink cards. In fact, more than 1,500 of them. As our Mary Mills tells us tonight, these cards are a call to action as some are finding a way to heal. In a small office on the city's north side, volunteers are transcribing hundreds of deeply personal stories. The stories shared online and in person. The pink cards are filled with pain and anger. I was raped by a police officer. He left bruises on my body. I was sexually abused, raped by my father from the ages of 5 to 12. They're also filled with hope. We must speak out, tell our stories. There is strength in numbers and power in knowledge. The cards are part of Clothesline Indiana, a year-long effort to draw awareness to sexual assaults in Indiana. Thursday, these cards with stories from all 92 counties will hang from a clothesline at the State House. It's not in one area. It's not a rural problem. It's not an urban problem. It is a Hoosier problem. Women for Change and others want tougher laws, specifically consent legislation. Consent legislation would mean that no means no. This card came from a woman in prison. She said, my husband beat and raped me over a 10-year period until I left. He attempted to rape me, strangle me, and kill me after I left. He molested three of my children. I killed him. The gravity of some of it is just hard to imagine. The stories have had a profound impact on Haley Boer. Like my story, I actually hadn't told anybody. <laughs> Um, sorry. <laughs> Until um, last night, I did. Boer, who helped spearhead the project, I was a child, will fill out her pink card tonight. And was assaulted by a neighborhood boy that was a little bit older than me. It was a secret she kept for 20 years. Women endure and have endured things way more horrible than my story, but still to give me the courage to put it to paper has been really empowering. They've also received a few of these cards from men, one saying, I've recognized my own bad behavior for what it was and try to stop it when I see it. These cards, trauma captured in writing and penned with courage is a message to other survivors. They aren't alone and they can heal together. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Talk about bravery and courage. The closed line will be at the State House tomorrow, all part of a noon rally. While a consent bill died in the House, supporters say they will try again next year.